I'm trying to get ready for work, but the power keeps going out. <laughs> super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog it is miserable and uh rainy and windy outside it's gonna be a great day <laughs> update i am at the theater now the power is on honestly left the house not knowing if it was gonna be on or off when i got here and so i was like well if we get downtown and there's no power we'll just turn around and come back but about yeah basically right when we hit downtown power was on I'm pretty sure everything else is still out, but power's on. I forgot my Rode mic transmitter, so if the audio is off, I'm sorry for that, but I am here. I'm going to try to work as much as I can in hopes that the power doesn't go out. The nice thing is, is we do have the emergency backup lights if it does go out. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do about the alarm if it does go out, so hopefully if the power goes out, it'll be after other staff show up so I don't have to deal with it. Anyways, I'm gonna have my breakfast drink now. If I brought it inside, I'm sure I brought it inside. And um, then start working and um, <laughs> Okay, it's honestly not that dark in here. But the power is still very much out. Um, I was texting with my friend who lives nearby and he was like, oh, power went back on. And then like half an hour later, he's like, power's out again. And uh, he ended up coming to pick me up from work and we went out for lunch because like, if there's no power, <laughs> we can't cook. Because <laughs> he was like, I was about to cook and then the power went out. So yeah, um, <laughs> so many things I can't do <laughs> because of no power. Uh, so I think I'm probably gonna embroider. I think if I open up my curtains and everything, I should be able to get enough light in here because it's surprisingly sunny outside. The winds died down quite a bit. Although at work, the, the power was flickering like crazy, and I was like, I'm gonna go out. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna open the windows, try to get some more light in here, take off my rain jacket and stuff, and uh, get comfy. And I guess, yeah, just embroider. Or I guess I could I could work on the reusable cotton pads because I need to do a lot of trimming and flipping, so that's actually a thing I can do. Okay, we'll figure it out. It's probably gonna be boring. I guess audiobooks it is. Alrighty, so I've got the... Um, window open now and as you can see it's not that bad because it is so nice and sunny it's just been crazy the last like 24 hours the weather that we have had which has included thunder snow which is a snowstorm with thunder and lightning or vice versa and now it's like gorgeous and sunny i don't know and in good news i remembered that i have a couple strands of battery powered lights in my room so like this is battery powered here the one above my bed there is battery powered. And then I also have this one here that will be, could be super helpful if the power continues to stay out. But, you know, fingers crossed it'll go back on soon. Hopefully they're working on it. But according to the BC Hydro outage map, there is just like a huge swath of area. Swath? swath of area this giant area that has no power right now so yeah anyways i'm in pajamas and i have my sweater nearby in case i get cold because obviously can't heat the house right now so <laughs> keep that in mind and i think i'm probably gonna put on an audiobook oh i still my headphones are in there um i need uh, <laughs> um so i think i'll get those out and then i'll probably start with trimming all the threads on these cotton dudes here because that'll take a while and then I can also trim the fabric and flip them around so like that'll keep me entertained for a while and then I do conveniently have an external battery which is charging my phone right now because my phone was down to like 30% so that's where we're at we're doing all right and I'm gonna listen to some sort of audiobook probably continue or a podcast tough call Oh my god, oh my god, the power's coming back on. This is honestly super exciting because as much as it's great that I can trim the threads on these, the white threads, and now that I'm like trimming around the edge and try not to cut the threads, or the seams that I've sewed, um, I had to have the lantern on and it still wasn't the greatest, so let there be light. <laughs> Hopefully the internet will come back on soon. Obviously it takes a while to reset. Google Home is still waiting to set up and connect to that, but very exciting. I think I'm okay without the internet. Honestly, I've been listening to podcasts. 
I've actually been listening to, it's the Hamish and Andy's Remembering Project. I talk about them all the time. I love them. <laughs> They're probably my favorite podcasters that I listen to. And so they have a regular weekly podcast, but right now they've also been looking back at their old run sheets and stuff and remembering what they talked about in those shows, which is pretty hilarious. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep listening to that. Looks like the internet has come back up, so that's exciting. I can watch things on my computer if I want. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to finish trimming all of these. I have another Basically, I have nine to go because I just started this set. And then hopefully the power will still be on. I can keep sewing the rest. This, this stack here, I can finish that. <sighs> yes, power. <laughs> Things you don't really think about, but look at everything I trimmed from these cubes. And the reason that I do it is because when I flip them the other way, they go, they fold better and it's not super bulky on the edge. So I try to get rid of as much as I can and also make sure that they're square because sometimes when I sew them and line them up, they don't quite match anyways. That's gonna go in there. And I have so much like even thread in my garbage. It's just really ridiculous is what it is, but <sighs> we're making progress. I'm at the point where I'm like, should I flip these or should I leave them as is and continue on with the sewing? Cause like, what if the power goes out again? I don't think it's going to, but I don't know. Conflict it. Sometimes I just sit here and I go, what should I do? And honestly, I should probably just keep going on these because I've started them. But the main reason why I'm like, maybe I should wait is because once I flip them, that's the usable side. And if something goes terribly wrong, they'll get really dirty and then I can't sell them. Um, but then on the other hand, I have totes for a reason. So <laughs> I think I just don't feel like flipping them, but I should just flip them. I should just flip them. Should I flip them? I'll just flip them. I finished flipping all of the uh, cotton pads and now I'm mad about it. So I pulled my sewing machine back out to ignore them for a while. I was actually thinking about uh, top stitching them and uh, no, I don't want to. It took so long to flip them inside out because that's just, there was like 63 of them, I think total. So I'm just gonna, continue doing the rest. I've got a stack of terry cloth here and I've got all the other cotton here. I think I might, I've got um, this Pikachu one. I think I might keep it for myself because it's adorable. Um, I keep saying that, like the um, Baby Yoda one, I'm like, this is so cute, I should keep it for myself, and then I list it on Etsy, so I guess I'm not. Um, <laughs> or if it doesn't sell, I will just have a lot of cotton pads, is basically where we're at. Anyways, it is seven, just after 7.30 now. I have had dinner, and like I said, I spent hours doing that. I think power is going to stay on for the rest of the day, so that is very exciting. Also very sad because... I'll have to top stitch things eventually. <laughs> but I think if I can get the rest of these cotton pads sewn tonight, then tomorrow I can just kind of top stitch everything. And maybe if I'm super ambitious, iron those scrunchies. My goal is to get all the projects I have on the go done by Saturday, which is very ambitious because I have to work um, Thursday and Friday and Friday I have to work in the morning and then again in the evening so should be fun and then Thursday I also have to do invoicing so like I got a lot on my plate so I should stop talking and do the things but I am off work tomorrow so I'll have lots of time but I think if I can get all of these ones sewing tonight that'll put me in a good place for tomorrow also <laughs> when I was doing these ones over here, sometimes the uh, flippy hole that I have, which is right here, you can't really, there, see, that's the flippy hole. Some of them were really <laughs> too tight, and so I super struggled, and so I'll remember that this time as I'm sewing around, but I should probably get into that, because <sighs> I'm in a procrastinating mood, so if I don't go now, I won't go at all. It is 10 to 9, and I am so over these reusable cotton pads. Like, I've been dragging my feet on it because it's just, <sighs> but I'm on the last set now, so that's gotta be a win. And then once I finish, I'm probably gonna clear off my bed there and get ready to go to sleep because I'm just so over this. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's, I've been home since like, I would guess, say like two, 2.30, somewhere in that range. And I've been 
pretty much sitting here the whole time working on this. I was supposed to do some vlog editing today, which didn't happen. And um, yeah, but I feel like I'll feel accomplished when I get this last set done. Uh, seven more to go. And the pile is looking quite nice over here. I have so many of this pattern because like, I just have so much. Can you focus? Um, I just have so, I had so much of this material, so I have so much of this. I think I cut like five sets of this. So yeah, fun. But the struggle has been real. I mean, I was like exhausted and tired from doing masks and scrunchies and now I've burnt myself out on these too. So good job me, but almost done. That's what matters. And then we'll get on to, I guess, finishing these and the masks and eventually the scrap. Oh, so much. Okay, it's fine. One day at a time. And today, the last thing I need to do is this. Alrighty, well, I finished sewing everything and I even cut all the threads off of these. So that's one step closer. There's so many. It's just a little ridiculous. <laughs> But it's very exciting. I'm glad to have them done and I'm kind of over the hate of them for the moment. And I think it's because I'm about to go to sleep. I've written a list for tomorrow, which is very gigantic. It's very sewing intensive and video editing intensive. And I'm pretty sure, honestly, that it's more hours than I have in the day. But who knows? Maybe we'll um, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, I think I'm going to go to sleep. So thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure. And I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.